Well, it's actually, I mean, it feels good also that you have, like you said, someone you don't know that's willing to help you, uh, especially for me, living from another country, being um, from the United States, but getting a suit in Italy. You hear about the fashion and things like that in Italy, so it's actually very exciting, but also um, happy that someone's willing to, to help. Uh, it came organically and, and naturally, and I think that's the best way sometimes. So the, the foundation or the building blocks of our relationship is friendship. So we were friends first. So I think that's an important part as you move on in life together because a lot of things change in life. Uh, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of different variables um, in life. You know, things can come as sickness and, or things like that. So it's important to be friends, that you support each other, and, and that's how the love comes. Uh, various reasons. With, with basketball and with professional basketball, there's a lot of different things to take into account. But at the time, uh, when I signed here, um, the team wasn't in good shape, but I know the history of the club. And being you know, normally a top five team and also have won a championship in the past, I knew it would be a challenge. But uh, I embraced the challenge. And also with the, the new coach coming in, Coach Buki, I think we had unfinished business. The unfortunate situation in Rome last year, um, I was excited to kind of finish off a challenge with, with Coach. Uh, I enjoy it, but it's also a learning experience for me because um, typical, um, usually, I'm like playing at the two position other years in my career and things like that. So. Um, I'm a very emotional guy sometimes, but I also can just be quiet. I'm, I'm always competitive, but being a leader, you sometimes have to know when to say something, sometimes know when not to say things. So it's a learning experience for me as well, but I'm enjoying it. Feels good um, to be in the record books, you know, as, uh, as, as players, like I said, you always want to be a competitor. You always want to do the best thing to, to help your team win. So in the games, I've never had any clue that I was close. The game in Brindisi when I had 15, or the game uh, in Trieste when I had 16, I had no clue. I was just doing what it took for our team to win. But now knowing that you lead some kind of legacy um, or your name will always be there to a certain extent, unless someone else breaks it, it feels good. Oh, I have no individual goals. All my goals actually this year are, are team oriented. And I think that as long as I play well and help the team win, but I have the goal for us to finish, finish top five in, uh, in order to get a good playoff seating and also to win, to win a round. Um, when I got here, the team was not in, in the greatest of shape. And, and uh, now that we've been able to climb up the ladder and get into that position of, of really fighting for the playoffs, the job is nowhere near finished. Um, it's still a very close race but my goal right now is for us to definitely finish strong to get a top five seating. Yes, I'm a, I'm a big sneaker fan. Uh, I wouldn't say a sneaker collector. I just, that's just my, that's my vice. A lot of everyone has their, their thing that they really love. Some people love video games. Um, some people love jewelry. That just happened to be the thing that I like. I like sneakers, like, like to wear sneakers. Um, I feel like the way to, to not have to clean sneakers and things like that is to have many because you change sneakers so much. So that's one thing about me off the court. Uh, it was the way I was brought up as a, as a kid and just because you're brought up that way doesn't mean that, um, that, you, that you stay that way. There's many people brought up religious and they decide to go their way. But as I've gotten older, I, I understand the impact that uh, Jesus Christ has on my life, and I have that in my relationships, uh, my girlfriend, family, and things like that. So it's a big part of my life. Yeah, well, uh, God willing, you know, I understand that it's hard for, you can't plan anything. You, um, so I don't necessarily have any plans. I try to plan things, I try to have visions, but uh, Hopefully, yeah, some kids in the near future, and then we'll see what else happens. I 
I think that I am a very relaxed, outgoing, cool person. That's easy to be around. Chi Vidiamo, Sudinamo TV.